Namibians are so distrustful of the current leadership and the judiciary that some don't believe that those accused as part of Fishrot will ever truly be justly tried. I asked August Miletsky to share his views on this. Justice can never prevail in any form of selective prosecution. If 10 people set the spoor of corruption in Namibia, and those who created the very spoor of corruption remain untouchables, and only those that you caught red-handed, say in the middle, are prosecuted, it can never be seen as justice. You must start prosecuting those who started the, corrupt, the practice of corruption retrospectively. Justice cannot only be done, it must also be seen to be done. I planned the murder, but the murder is committed by someone else on my instructions or at the examples that I have set. You call it justice if you, call, if you only want to prosecute the one who subsequently committed the crime? Whilst I am sitting behind closed doors and engineering every, or, or am the founder of every act of corruption in Namibia. How can you root out corruption without really tackling the actual root of corruption in Namibia? We cannot do that because we have compromised the sovereignty of the state by compromising the rule of law and by appointing those who live in glass houses to the highest offices in this country. Checks and balances are entrusted to fellow corrupt cronies.